how God saved your life. And I'm wondering, have you put much thought into why God saved your life? As in, for what purpose has he been shielding and protecting you? So, I don't know if you heard the question. You've spoken about God saving your life, that I've spoken passionately about it. And something happened because that was a miracle. I never looked that way. The audience was massive and it was in front of me. I never have the that particular graph. That was a graph on, as you all know now that it's very, uh, I think everyone knows it very well, but it showed the great numbers on illegal immigration. It was the lowest point we've ever had. And it was one that I use less than 20% of the time. It's always at the end of the speech, not at the beginning of the speech. And it's always on the left side, not the right side. And yet, for some reason, I called it. I, it's not on a teleprompter. I do things largely without a teleprompter, frankly, because it's hard to hold an audience if you're going to go for an hour and a half or two hours reading, reading a script. And I just talked about it, and I moved to my right, turned sharply to my right, pew. And if I didn't do that, I'm not here with you. So, yeah, a God has something to do with it. It's, it's a miracle, and God had something to do with it. And maybe it's, uh, we want to save the world. And this world is going down. This world is going down. So it could be. But I believe that. I believe that my sons are very good shooters. They're, they're like uh, scratch golfers, better, relatively speaking, with shooters, great shooters. And Eric and Don both told me from 130 yards, I said, well, that's pretty far away, isn't it? He said, no, that's like a one foot putt with, you know, weapons like the one being used. Plus, he was a good shooter. This guy was a good shooter. He went to the range and shot a lot. And he was supposed to be a pretty good shooter. They said a bad shooter would hit the target almost 100% of the time. So uh, something happened. And I have to say the uh, Secret Service sniper did an amazing job. He had five seconds to find the target and hit the target. And he hit the target within, think of this, five seconds and he was much further away because he was over here and this other person was over there so you have to give credit and i have to also say about the secret service when i was hit i knew it because when i touched there was blood pouring all over my hand i said i guess i know what that is and i went i was going down for protection and they were screaming get down get down there was bullets and uh, those secret service guys were and person kate they were on top of me and a matter of, I think, three seconds, it was time to, and bullets were coming out. I would hear the bullet. I didn't realize you could hear it, but now I know very well uh, those bullets were going right over my head. They were there and very brave. There was nobody that said, I'm not going to be going there. They just, uh, they were there very quickly and they were very brave. They were, and there were mistakes made, obviously. He shouldn't have been up there. The roof should have been uh, taken care of. And uh, there were mistakes made. There's no question about it. But uh, there was a lot of bravery also, we have to remember that. Okay, thank yeah, you. Mr. President. Mr. President.